My name is Scott Baum. I am the present president of the Board of Trustees of the IIBA, the International Institute for Bioenergetic Analysis, <clears throat> the successor institute to the original Bioenergetic Institute founded by Al Lowen, along with another small group, John Paracas, Bill Walling, Alice Lattice was present at the birth, Vivian Goose was with us here, people who have been with this institute in its various transformations over these many years. On this occasion, we come together to remember, to recognize, to reminisce about Al Lowen. And for many of us, to reaffirm our connection to his life work and our commitment to the same work, each of us in our own way, many of us as professionals, as therapists, and as well, including those of us as therapists, as people, patients, people, struggling in our own ways. <clears throat> I'll just tell you that we've had numerous reports of people in the air, on the ground, on the way, and so we may have people coming in all day long. The, I don't make much of omens, so um, my only conclusion about the weather is that it's another piece of evidence of how much is outside my control. I knew Al for almost 40 years. For me, Al's genius lay in his unwavering commitment to the value and understanding of relating to the body as an intrinsic part of the psychotherapeutic process, not as a grafted on part not as a set of exercises, but as, as intrinsic to the process. His belief was heartfelt and passionate. He didn't mind telling anyone what he thought. If they were receptive, he was free and generous with his ideas and beliefs. If they were dismissive, he was free with his assertiveness. He provided a tree under which all of us took shade from the withering heat of rejection, disdain, and disapproval of the work we did that was all too common not so long ago. We will always need champions such as Al was. We need those who create, those who break new ground, those who stand strong for our beliefs and convictions, and those who can, as Al did inimitably, go forth in the world and represent what is best in us with strength, forthrightness, and conviction. I invite you during this memorial to connect to your personal remembrances of Al and also to connect to the rest of the bioenergetic community and those around the world with us in spirit today. We've had many communications from people who could not attend and wished they could be here. The Committee of Past Presidents of the IIBA, whom I ask to plan this memorial, have worked very hard and very ably to plan, the pro to plan the program and have designed a program to allow for various experiences. Hoping, I think, thereby, to give us all a way to participate 
that is meaningful for each of us. I'm very grateful to them for their work and the spirit with which they undertook it. As many of you can imagine, it was really no easy task, never mind the logistics, just the emotional process. I also want to mention a special thank you to Ron Panvini, who has done yeoman's work, extensive, beyond what could be asked even as a member in good standing of our organization. Thank you. He has coordinated and directed the audiovisual arrangements and the preparations for the recording of this event, and that gives me an opportunity to remind you all, as the sign says outside, that we are recording this event. And if you come up to speak and wish to offer a remembrance or a reminiscence, or this being bioenergetics, any other sound you feel like making, and you don't want it on videotape, please say something. Uh, thanks go also to A.J. Juno, who's here at the camera, for her offer to do the work of producer-editor for the videotaping of this memorial, and I'll introduce the rest of the AV team to you later. They've all really worked very hard. For those of us who have worked on this day, with all the feelings and history and attitude some of us brought to it. It is with a sense of gratitude that we have done this work. Each of us grateful in our own way. As Ron said to me many times as we planned this, he said, it's good if we all remember we wouldn't be here, here, in this form, in this particular body we are in, had it not been for Al Lowen. It is with this sense of gratitude that I invite you to join with us as the day goes along to participate in your own way. I'm going to introduce to you the chair of the Committee of Past Presidents, Virginia Wink Hilton, who will introduce our speakers and will carry you through the morning's activities. Well, we on the planning committee, Ed Svoster, Hugo Steinman, Bill White, and I have long been looking forward to this moment when we gather together to remember, to honor, to celebrate Al Lowen. Today we're, we'll hear, as Scott has said, we'll hear much about the life of Al and his work by those who've been very close to him over the years. And also we expect and want to hear from some of you in the audience whose connection has been, uh, well, directly or indirectly through his work and his writing. We've also been looking forward to this day with absolute joy over the prospect of seeing and reconnecting with so many of you who have been so meaningful to us over the years in our relationships through uh, the Institute and ultimately, of course, through, um, through Al. So we welcome you. We know some of you have come from very far and wide through rain and maybe even snow and on trains and planes and taxis. Thank you for being here. We welcome you and so appreciate your presence. <laughs> 